Hello, welcome to another tutorial video in Radar Opus. This time I'm looking at Massimo Mangelavoi's Suggester Repertory, which is a very exciting new addition to Radar Opus. I'm very pleased to be able to be looking into it and finding my way around it. So let me just give you a quick tour around this new repertory. So I've got it open now. I can just click on the binoculars to open the navigation window. Now you'll see that the chapters are named in Latin and that's you know a decision of Massimo's and whilst it's not as easy as um, as English there's you know there's a sort of reason behind it like if we go into the rejector chapter you'll see that it's all things to do with discharge so it's like uh, allowing him to group things in a certain way and once you get into the chapters, everything's in English. So when you use a search function to search for, you know, ailments or um, delusions or things that we're used to looking for in repertories, then you'll find that it works in, you know, the sort of way that we would expect. Now, the other thing that um, you may find if you're not accustomed to um, Massimo's um, way of working if you haven't read any of his books you'll find some of the words are um, sort of unusual like cyclothemia you might be aware of it um, or you might not be like myself so what I did was to look up words that I uh, wasn't sure of and then I've created a bookmark which uh, gives me a little definition there so what you can do in the program is to hold down alt drag across word and um, once it's highlighted right click and then search in Google and it opens inside your radar opus program hopefully my internet connection is letting me down here there we go thank you very much okay and I might just take this definition what you need to do in the built-in web browser of Radar Opus is to right-click and copy. If you try uh, the short keyboard shortcut, that doesn't work when you're in this particular window, okay? Then go back to my repertory. See, I've already created a bookmark, um, so I will add that to you. I'll rename my bookmark. If you hadn't done this already, you would just add a bookmark. Rename. You can see what I've put in here already. I'll just put in a little, um, little full stop there and then paste then OK and you see now this updates OK so that's a very useful um, tool when you have bookmarks um, and it also means that you can then navigate through the repertory in that way so if I click 5 now I'll see all of the bookmarks I've made in um, suggester so like if I double click here I'll be taken to his defiant rubric and what I did here was to look at the remedies in there and then sort of write down which groups are well represented there so tubercular mercurius the metals and insects seem to me to be um, well represented in that rubric so of course if you you know you can take a rubric in the normal way just by dragging and dropping but what I also was looking into in Suggester was these cross-references because they're, um, they're sort of quite, they seem to be really well done. And what you can do, which is a really nice feature of Radar Opus, is to group cross-references when you take the rubric. So you can see here in my hand, pointing at the rubric. So if I know the keyboard shortcut, it's F6, which opens the Take menu. Or I can go up to the Take menu button itself and then choose take and specify the options you'll see f6 is shown here my window opens I choose also take cross references and I choose this option to merge them into one rubric you use all the remedies and it's going to go into the clipboard with a tick the active one here you can change that here but uh, for now I'll keep it in clipboard 8 and take okay and then clipboard 8 you'll see that I get 
a very large rubric now compared to this one. So it's perhaps not the most orthodox way of using the repertory, but it gives you a um, opportunity to expand um, in quite a quick way. And, you know, maybe you want to be a lot more careful. Maybe you want to be very expansive. That is, of course, your call. I'm just showing you what you can do in the program. And the fact is these um, are very well chosen cross references. So perhaps it's a useful thing to consider. So let me show you some other things. Um, let's open just, you know, a sort of analysis that I made, not thinking of anything in particular, just looking at some of the interesting rubrics in the mind section here, like oppositional, I can imagine very coming in real handy when you're working with uh, children with um, behavioral problems. So that's a really interesting rubric. We see Arania Exobola in bold type, Lac Lama, Megali. So uh, Massimo's written books on the spiders, the rosaceae, the fungi, um, the milks. So, um, and then he's got sort of, in his earlier works, there are seminar notes with lots of stuff on snakes and sea animals. So he's done so much research over the years and put that into, applied that into cases. And that knowledge is filtered down now into Suggester. So you see lots of insects here like Simex and Pulex. And then of course it's really simple from here to then just see well what's what's it what does Pulex have in Suggester? So you right click on it and then search in current document only. And then we can see straight away the rubrics here that mostly are coming from Massimo's experience. So if I broaden this search to all repertories now, you'll see slightly more in Suggestor than Synthesis. Um, and you'll see that most of these are coming from Burroughs' repertory in Synthesis. So you get a much better picture of the mind and disposition of Pulex in Suggestor. And then here we are, the page for Pulex. So I do believe it's the flea, not such a nice creature. <laughs> we can use the Google page from uh, the keynotes as well. There we are. And that gives us good access to Wikipedia, which is very helpful. Okay. The other thing, of course, in Radar Opus, you can quite easily limit to a family by right clicking and saying limit to just family members and maybe go up to insects and see what there are. So some other lesser known remedies. So you find a good a good range of the, you know, polycrests as well as the some lesser known remedies coming through when using Suggestor. And a good range of remedies from the different kingdoms, the animal, plant, mineral kingdoms are all well represented. So let's look here. So cycloethemia we looked at. This is another one that I wasn't aware of, autorexia. So double click and you can see I've created a bookmark there in the in the same way that I showed you earlier by um you know searching searching in Google. So I'll show you that again. It's uh when you do this you you know, you need to click away from, so the hand's not pointing at the rubric itself, then it works properly. So you do Alt, click and drag, right click, search, Google. Then it opens it up within Radar Opus. You can take something from Google, copy, go back to the repertory, right click, add a bookmark, in this case it's already there so rename and then just paste that in and you can put in a note 
which allows you to understand what he means. And these are other, some other sort of snapshots that I've made whilst looking through. So you see here in Radar Opus, this pop-up window tells you that I created this rubric by merging the cross-references in one rubric with all remedies. So if I take you to this point in the repertory, it's quite interesting. Anything to do with trifles is just cross-referenced to the uh, heading trifles. There's a rubric for panic attacks, compulsive disorders, dependency and addiction. Some really useful uh, rubrics for modern practice here. What you'll see here is unlike synthesis and to a greater extent the complete repertory where anything from the um, sub rubrics is automatically copied. Um, synthesis doesn't do that by the way. It's, um, it's chosen specifically whether that would work or not. But uh, here um, in Suggester that isn't what is done. So basically the main rubric for dependency and addiction is smaller than some of the sub rubrics, in fact. So what you can do, of course, you could just take the rubric itself or one of the sub rubrics, but if you wanted to be very broad, you can apply the same um, principle. So maybe this time I won't take all of the cross references, but I'll take all of the sub rubrics together with the main rubric. So I go to the take menu, take and specify the options. This time I choose take sub rubrics and I'll go for all rubrics merged again and then take. And you'll see this instead of being 29 will be much bigger as it includes all of the sub rubrics. Then of course there's nothing to stop you combining um, rubrics. So if one were to just search for um, addiction in all my repertories, you can see it all, all coming up in Massimo's repertory there, but also in Synthesis and in some other repertories that we're working on at the moment that are on their way. So maybe you could you you don't want to have dreams in there, so you put a uh, exclamation point and then type dreams, and then that removes any dreams from your search. There we go. And then view all documents in one list. And then command enter or control enter, depending on whether you're Mac or PC. Radar Opus creates one large rubric for you and you can just clean that up if you like. Press enter and then we have, you know, combined everything, all of our repertories all into one big expansive rubric. Okay, well I think that's uh, enough for now. I hope you enjoyed that and um, see you for the next video. Bye bye.